Another piece of offensive strategy is the coach's procedure or policy for making every batter take the first strike. In other words, not swing until you've got a strike. Some coaches tell their players that. All that really does, if you think about it, is give the advantage to the pitcher. Because now instead of four balls and three strikes, your batters get four balls to walk, but they're out after only two strikes because the pitcher gets one free one. And really, after they get two strikes on you, the third one belongs to the pitcher because they're going to throw you what they want to in that situation. So think seriously, again, if you're having all of your batters take a strike before you allow them to swing. Two of the cardinal rules offensively that we hear sometimes are never make the first out of an inning at home plate and never make the last out of an inning at third base. And there are good reasons for those statements. We actually should use the word rarely instead of never. But you should rarely make the first out of an inning at home plate. It goes back to what we talked about a while ago when we talked about situations. If you have the runner coming around third and you try to score them with nobody out and they get thrown out for the first out of an inning at home plate, you gave up all those chances of your next three batters driving them in to gamble right there. So you got three more chances when there's no outs. So with no outs, you want to be conservative. There's no need to hurry and try to get a run scored when there's nobody out in most situations. Conversely, if there's two outs, you're going to be more aggressive and try to send them. You're going to gamble with two outs because you don't have as many more chances coming up. Now, I use the word rarely because let's just say your first batter comes up and gets a single and somehow because of a couple of errors, you know, ends up around second base or whatever, and your next three batters are terrible. I mean, none of them have a hit in the whole season. And the batter hits a little old blooper because she's trying to get out of the way of the ball and the pitch hits the bat and bloops over first base. Well, you might want to try to send that runner home because luck's not going to keep being on your side. So even with no outs, sometimes you'll gamble and try to score, but rarely will you make the first out at home plate. Rarely should you make the last out of an inning at third base. The reason for that is that you're not much better off at third base than you were at second base when there's two outs. On third base, you can't score in many more ways than you can from second base when there are two outs. That's why we said not to make the last out at third base. Now, a sacrifice fly would score you from third base, and that won't score you from second base. But with two outs, you can't hit a sacrifice fly because that's a third out of an inning. So there are not too many more ways to score from third base than from second base. It's not worth the gamble to try to get the third when there are two outs. One way to look at it is tell your runners to come to third only if they can get there standing up. If it's going to be close enough, they have to slide. If there's two outs, they probably ought to hold up at second base. While we're mentioning third base, another situation let's just look at real quickly. With one out and a runner on third, some coaches automatically send that runner to try to score on any ground ball hit to the infield. Their thinking is, with one out, if I don't send a runner and they throw the hitter out at second, now there's two outs and I've got to get a two out hit to score that runner from third. So they'll gamble with one out and a runner on third on any ground ball to try to score. If the runner sees they're not going to be safe at home, they stop, get in a rundown, and the hitter goes to second while the rundown's going on. Or they slide into the catcher, and in that wrapped up situation at home plate, the catcher's laying on the ground and the hitter tries to get to second. So one offensive piece of strategy you might want to think about is automatically sending runners home from third with one out on any ground ball. Now in fast pitch, you might want to modify that a little bit as to whether that ground ball is to the first baseman or the third baseman. You might even want to modify it in slow pitches to whether that ground ball is to the infielder. But some coaches I know very successfully just send the runner automatically home with one out and a ground ball to the infield. It's something to think about.